Hello, everyone. This is News Now from the Belmont Journal and our weekly segment with Franklin Tucker, editor of the Belmontonian, and I'm your host, Mike Crowley. So we have a number of items to talk about today. Franklin, I understand that there has been a major redesign of the MBTA bus system. So what are the implications for Belmont? Well, the big, the, the, the major, the, the major change is that uh, Belmont will see a new bus line come through, but basically bisect the town. It's going to be called the 54. It is, it is a, the route is actually from Arlington to Newton, but it will be coming through uh, Waverly Square, um, down Waverly Street, onto Common, into Belmont Center, and then down Pleasant Street. Um, I know that... Uh, and this, this is a route, Franklin, that currently has no bus service, right? That's right. This is a completely new line. Um, there will be changes also to other lines. One of the one of the lines from Harvard Square to uh, uh, Belmont Center will be eliminated, but the other one, the more elongated one that goes for the same route, it will have extra service. And that's basically the major... Uh, that, that's the major result of this uh, new uh, plan by the MBTA. All right, Franklin. So, um, and this will happen when? It's about in about one year, uh, spring or summer of next year. All right. So we'll look forward to that. And I'm sure that people will be excited to know that they can travel through town in a new way. Get to, get to Arlington. That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right. So, Franklin, next up, uh, let's talk about the, the DPW fuel t- the DPW fuel tank issue, it, it continues to percolate. What's the latest on that? Well, uh, there was a, uh, the final, as I said, the final public meeting uh, in which um, uh, Glenn Clancy, the town's uh, engineer, uh, came out with a, the, basically it was an 11 month uh, analysis and survey of the uh, needs of uh, the town in terms of having uh, either gasoline or diesel fuel, how much they use, you know, okay. how much the town uses. And it turned out that he said he, that after his analysis, it, uh, he is recommending to the select board um, that the uh, tanks be reduced in size, reduced in size from six thousand to four thousand, and they are, they are put above ground. So we're still looking at two tanks, one for diesel and one for gasoline, but smaller than than in the previous plan. That's right. He has discovered that uh, we can survive on less than um, the the larger larger tanks. Now, is the current plan likely to satisfy the abutters? Uh, not well, just not the abutters, but also people who believe that they're they're why are why, why is the town investing? What will be one point eight to one point nine million dollars to to do this work? Okay. Uh, especially when we're going as the town is moving away from gasoline powered vehicles, uh, there's a there, there, a lot of people are saying let's not let's not even do that. Let's let's go fully outsource uh, rather than putting tanks well, on the ground. So you're raising a really good point. Uh, what does the town say? What does Glenn Clancy say in response to those who say that Belmont should be investing in electric or or, or hybrid vehicles? Well, he he actually put a part of that analysis into his, uh, uh, he put uh, some of that assumptions into his analysis. Uh, that's why there's the smaller tanks. Uh, okay. But he says there really is still is a need to have tanks in the in the town simply because you, they're just more reliable and it's cheaper and 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 you can get to them if in case of a storm or something like that. So so what's what's next in terms of the decision making about this? It will now go before the uh, select board. Uh, it, they will decide whether to move forward with a with the by life. They already have a placeholder in the uh, in in. Uh, at town meeting for this, so well they'll decide what what they're going to present to town meeting, and then it's then it's up to town meeting. Remember last year, town meeting defeated um, uh, an agenda to uh, well a um, an article to uh, ba- basically pay for it, All but right. it was by such a small amount. So, you know, uh, large uh, data, uh, a deep dive as Dick Glenn uh, Clancy said into this, he's he's got the facts behind his um, his. Uh, his conclusion. Okay, so so Franklin, just quickly, um, so, so this may be coming up before town, the, the next iteration of, of town meeting, segment B in, in a couple of weeks? That's right, in June. Okay. All right. So um, 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 on to our next topic, um, leaf blowers continues to, to be an issue for the select board. What's what's the status? Well, it's, uh, it's one of those uh, 
um, business versus uh, residents in many ways. You know, there's a small businesses, many in town uh, that uh, rely on their, their, they, they have their landscaping businesses. Uh, and um, many people uh, uh, use that, that business and they use, and, and that is basically cleaning their yards and, and, and taking the leaves away in, in the fall. Um, and they use powerful um, leaf blowers. Um, now there's residents who are also, who are now saying on the other side, uh, you can do this on, with electrical leaf blowers or, you know, they're just too leather. They're, and, and they do create a lot of pollution and a lot of uh, noise. So this is a classic um, um, uh, fight between residents and businesses and, and who do you support. And it's going to be, it's interesting because we've had a number of uh, 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 public meetings on this and it, it seems like, you know, that both sides have some something to say about this. That they, so, so, so Franklin, let me ask you, what's, what's the decision-making process from here on out on, on leaf blowers? Uh, it could be a bylaw, it could go before a, a town meeting, it could be a special town meeting. I think a lot of people would just want to, to see if there's any uh, movement um, towards one side or another. But, but we also have to realize, you know, in California and other, other parts of the country, they're doing away with gas um, um, leaf blowers uh, and they're going to electric. Now, if California goes that way, the industry will go that way. Okay. So it may be one of those things where we're, you know, where we could be ahead of the uh, of the trend, or we could just follow it. But right now, the select board is 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 slated to to discuss this um, further once, next week. Right? Once again. All right. Well, thank you so much, Franklin. We'll see you next time. And if you'd like to see more of Franklin's reporting, please visit Belmontonian.com. That's all for now, and we will see you next time.